Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Shayla and today I had no idea this was coming out. I don't know why I just like with like school and everything going on. I just haven't been keeping up with all of the comebacks I've wanted to be keeping up with but I had no idea. I don't know if this is a pre-release or this is a full on comeback but I had no idea Red Velvet was releasing another song and so that's really exciting. If you don't no, which you probably don't because I've never really talked about it. I like a decent amount of Red Velvet's title tracks. I've never been like super um, like stan like into them as a group or anything like that. So I don't know everything. Uh, Psycho is one of the best songs of the year when that was released. You know, I know generally a lot about them and I know a little bit about each of the members and stuff like that, but I'm not like a stan. However, <laughs> this song I'm very excited for because uh, from what I know of Red Velvet, they release really good, really good music and I'm excited to experience it. I will say, because they released um, Feel My Rhythm earlier this year, it wasn't my favorite song, but the use of like the classical music is really, really clever and the concept itself was gorgeous. Like, and the music video... I don't know if I actually watched the flip music video, but I definitely saw stills and their outfits and everything like that was beautiful. So if it's anything like that or anything else that I like by them, I'm, I'm going to be happy. But without further ado, I am going to listen to Red Velvet birthday music video. No idea what this is about to sound like. So that's really fun. They've always had different kind of concepts though, so. Okay, three, two, one. Is it creepy? Okay. Interesting. Build-up is really good. That melody. She looks great. Okay. I like this chorus. It has that weird, like, uncanny valley quirky feel that a lot of Red Velvet stuff that I've seen has. Ooh, runs. And then this part. I love this part. Pentagram. <laughs> that drop is really hard. Hmm. 
I'm still trying to figure out. Ooh. This is sick. I was gonna say, I'm still trying to figure out if I like the second part of the chorus, which is weird for me. Okay, mm. that's the end. Interesting. Because, like, when normally when I listen to songs that have two part choruses, I'm always like, eh, the first part. I get used to the first part, but the second part is really what hooks me in. But this is the exact opposite. I really like the drop, and it's. The second part of the chorus that I'm still not like hooked on quite yet, but that's okay. We'll watch it again. Oh, and if you're also new here, I watch um, music videos twice. Once all the way through without stopping and then a second time where I can stop and rewind and everything. So, um, yeah. My, before we watch it again, my initial reaction to the song, I really, really, really like that pre-chorus. That's a good, the... Not as much the slower part, but the um the build up right before the the chorus is super good. I love the quirky, like like I said, like uncanny valley kind of weird little bit horror-ish, but also cute. I don't know. It's it's a lot. I just said a lot of things that are very different, but you know what I mean? It's like a red velvet thing that I've seen before. And um I like that they're following through with that theme. Yeah, I don't know. I think I have to, this is a song that I have to listen to again to see if it really sticks with me, but that pre-chorus, plus that, like, it was after the bridge, so I guess, like, final chorus outro-ish section was quite good, too. Yeah, I just need to listen to it again to see it all flow together, I think. It looks so cute. Is this a comeback? Let me know if this is like a, a single or an actual like full on comeback. D. Yeah. I'm using samples is everything. I like that a lot. I like when they cut out background just have vocals. It's cool. Ooh, the harmonies in the background of that. Oh, I love her voice there. Again, please. Again, please. Oh. And they get the drums there. Mm. Yeah. That job. That's cool. Ooh. Pretty. 
It's windy, right? And See, the only thing I have that I'm a little bit like, do I like this a lot? Because I'm, especially at this point, I'm like just waiting for that pre-chorus that I know I love. And I'm like, do... Do you love a song if you only love like one part of it? But the other part, I do love the vocals and the harmonies in the background and that first part in the in the chorus and the first like verse with the cutting out of the instruments. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm just overthinking it. I just don't love this part as much. I'd be interested to hear a cut of the song where, oh, but that vocal right, right there. Um, I'd be interested in hearing like a cut of the song without the slower part. If you know what I mean. Such a good part of the song. Ah, oh, and into this first part of- okay, maybe I do love the song. That B drop into the chorus is so good. Okay, I'm getting into it. This part. You know to get me the song to do some bop 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 ups. <laughs> I've decided I like it. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna listen to the pre-chorus, this part again. Oh. And the choreo too. Oh. Love their outfits too. That drop is so good. And they have enough going on in the instrumental that it's not like boring. Okay, and the first time I listened to this part, I was like, this feels so out of place, but I love it. I love the breakup of this section. There we go. Yeah. This part's sick. And sometimes I feel like what's missing from some K-pop songs is some ad-libs, some really good ad-libs, and they got it. Oh, they look so cute. Wow, that was so good. Okay, yeah. So I like it. <laughs> surprise, surprise. I do like that. Um, I would say, like, if we're picking favorites, um, it's not like my favorite uh, Red Velvet song that I've ever heard. But also, there's quite a few Red Velvet songs that had to, like, grow on me first. Um, so I'm not, like, mad about that at all. And that's why I like doing 
just also because I like to be able to replay and some people only like to see like the first initial reaction. But also the other reason I like to do uh, two reactions, like two viewings of the music video is because sometimes as much as K-pop Twitter wants you to not believe this, sometimes songs take a couple listens for you to be like, oh my God, this is the best thing ever. So <laughs> that's why I really enjoy like doing multiple listens to songs on my reactions because if I had listened to this just once all the way through, I'd probably be like, I like the pre-chorus. Don't know if I like the rest. Like it's fine. But I really was able to like enjoy and appreciate um, it on my second watch. And it's very Red Velvet. This song is very Red Velvet as far as like I know of Red Velvet. So that's really cool. Um, yeah, those are my thoughts. Um, I, I'm always going to be real with my reactions. I'm never going to be like, this is the best song ever if like, I don't enjoy parts of it or whatever. But I hope, I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from with the whole like needing a little bit to um, get into it. But yeah, this is a good song. I'm excited. Let me know if they like got an album out with this or like what. If there's an album, maybe I do an album reaction or maybe I'm waiting for, if this is a pre-release, I'm not sure, waiting for a new comeback. I'm not sure, but let me know. Um, One of you guys did request recently that I react to some Red Velvet stuff and I want to do that. <laughs> I want to do more Red Velvet reactions, at least do like a video doing a couple of like their most iconic songs. Because as much as like I know some of their songs, I don't usually watch music videos and stuff like that of artists I'm not like st actively standing. So it'll be it'll be cool. I'd love to go back and watch some of their um, music videos, especially for songs I already like. And then listen to some new songs because they're so iconic. They're such an iconic group. So. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a like, and please suggest anything else you'd like me to react to, whether that be new comebacks or more Red Velvet stuff, okay? I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye, guys.